I loved to paint my numbers as a child. I admired the pictures on the outside of the paint by number boxes. And I would carefully open the box and it's excitedly pull out the contents. The picture that contained odd shapes, each shape marked with a number that corresponded to a particular color, the brush, and of course the paint. I would spend hours painting and my mom would monitor my progress, encouraging me to be mindful and stay inside the lines. After she left the room, I would think, why can't I paint the picture the colors that I want to paint? At an early age, when most kids try to please their parents, I was already questioning why I could not think for myself and create my own masterpiece. As an adult, I still enjoy painting by numbers. And as you look at the examples I'm sharing of my paintings, you'll notice that I stop following the rules while painting my pictures. I appreciate the outlines of the pictures and even the awkward shapes within the pictures that provide some overall structure, but I enjoy painting things the way I see them or the way I'd like to see them. My paintings are not the only way I see things differently from other people. Through the years, I've learned to value this about myself and value it in others, this different way of seeing, especially in my work as a public servant. Just like the structure of the picture and the painting by numbers, there is a similar structure where I serve in the Georgia State Legislature. Okay, with a lot more rules than Paint by Numbers has. The perspective that I brought to the legislature was unique. As Georgia's and the South's first openly gay state representative, a woman in a state legislature that is still male dominated, and just as myself, and whatever your background is and your experiences are, your perspectives are also unique. I believe we have the responsibility to live by being true to ourselves, by speaking up and sharing our truth. Whether we think we have to say, what we have to say is going to be appreciated or even respected or not. In sharing our truth, we plant a seed. Whatever the outcome, each of us has a responsibility to speak up. We must be willing to listen to others, even when we have a different perspective, and even when it makes us uncomfortable to do so. If we are going to accomplish anything as servants of the public, we have to be willing to work with those who are different from us. We must be willing not only to work together towards common goals, but we also truly have to listen to each other when we disagree. I believe that the largest challenge to democracy in our country today is that there is a widespread malignant idea that other people are the problem. Conservatives tend to blame liberals for our problems, while liberals blame conservatives. The media blames almost everyone, and almost everyone blames immigrants. Some people are convinced that unions are the tea, or the Tea Party are the problem, while others think that single mothers are the problem. Our entire culture has become a hysterical blame session. As servants of the public, we need to be an example. We need to start respecting each other enough to allow for the differences of opinion. Where people are not free to disagree, there can be no democracy, since that is what democracy is. We need to let people paint by numbers whatever colors they choose. And we need to learn to appreciate something about their art, even when we don't want to hang it up in our home. <laughs> I am not advocating that we act in ways that is contrary to our own interest or well-being, but that we recognize our common humanity. 
This can be especially challenging when your own humanity does not seem to be recognized. But someone needs to take the first step. I have found that the more conversations I have had with people, constituents and colleagues with whom I have differences, the more I can identify with what we have in common. This is the way to build bridges. This is the way to create better policy. It is the best way to govern in a democratic nation. It starts with being yourself. Speak your truth and then listen to the truth of others. The perspective of each of us is needed in some way to paint the picture of our nation. Thank you.